my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan the Comic Collector Geek, and these are the hottest comics gold from the Golden Age for the week. Um, I'm actually going to do a couple interesting themes within this one video. I kind of want to show that the Golden Age, even though it's hot <laughs> right now, um, there's opportunities to get affordable books. And I, I wanted to show some affordable ones. There are some big books in here as well, but... Uh, I wanted to show some affordable ones that people could buy. Also, there's a bit of a sub theme with some Matt Baker, um, a lot of Matt Baker on this list. So um, I kind of wanted to do that for a friend of mine uh, who has been collecting Matt Baker and I felt like give him a little bit special, something special just for him. So um, I like Matt Baker too though. So let's, let's get into the list. Uh, we're going to start out with a steal of the week, which is Amazing Ghost Stories number 14. Now, this is a uh, St. John's publication uh, from 1954. It's a Matt Baker cover. They actually think that the cover was inspired by uh, the creature from Black Lagoon because it's kind of like these, this girl and a guy in a boat <laughs> going into like sort of a lagoon-like setting and monsters kind of attacking. So very, it's a classic cover. It has that creature from Black Lagoon feel to it. And it is listed actually as one of the top, actually number 10 on the top 10 list of um, Overstreet's horror covers. So it's, it's a majorly classic cover for the Golden Age horror covers. Um, now, this was a CBCS sale that came up uh, on, Heritage, on Heritage, yeah, uh, for 2.0. It was a 2.0 sale and it sold for $528. Well, <clears throat> that is actually a very low sale because it had sold back in September of 2022 for $660. So this is lower than that previous sale, but also it's lower than what I would have expected because Matt Baker has been really popular lately and uh, I would have expected it closer to that 700 So for it to sell for not only below what the previous record was, uh, <laughs> but to sell below what it's probably projected to sell for is uh, a bit of a steal. So just a great pickup, whoever got it. Uh, um, there are 42 of these on the census and 38 of them are universal blue labels. Number nine on the list is Boy Comics number 75. And this is from 1952. It's a Charles Biro cover. And um, it's one of those ones where I was saying that there are really affordable books from the Golden Age. And this is like an Iron Jaw cover, which is this classic, <laughs> like, weird bad guy. Um, and it's also a bit of a sci-fi cover. So it's got some really cool elements to it, but it's a very affordable book. This was a CGC 3.5 that sold for $45. That's it. $45. Basically the cost of the slab. Now, this is actually a record. The prior record for this book was $41. <laughs> $41. So it's gone up five, uh, like four, $4, so 10% uh, since June 2021. So it has gone up, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's still a very affordable book. Uh, 45 bucks. I think most people can afford that. Uh, this It was an eBay sale, and there's uh, five of these on the census, and all of them are universal blue labels. Number eight on the list is from Heritage Auctions. Uh, this is Adventures into Terror, number 27. This is an Atlas comic from 1954. Uh, it features really weird <laughs> bondage cover. This guy basically hanging from, like, in bondage from his ankles. He's, like, tied and being dipped into a cauldron, uh, the witch's cauldron. So just a classic like um, bondage crazy cover <laughs> like just a really cool golden age cover uh it was done by uh gene colon um so it was a really interesting one um now these atlas comics atlas pre-code horror comics generally don't really go for that much um this was a raw 2.0 that sold and it sold for 75 dollars now actually believe it or not this is still a record <laughs> Um, Overstreet lists this book as, um, worth about $40, uh, and the, there are no previous records to really compare within this grade, 
but a 3.0 had sold for $178 back in August of 2022. Now, if you kind of remove the grading costs and you consider the grade, this is within what you would expect this book to sell for. So just a really interesting <laughs> uh, sale uh, for a raw 2.0, 75 bucks. Not a bad one. Uh, there are 16 of these on the census and 15 of them are universal blue labels. And that was a heritage auction sale. Uh, the next one was an eBay sale and it was for Weird Science number 14. Uh, this is a, a comic from EC, uh, EC Comics from 1952. It's actually an interesting one, kind of maybe relevant to today because it features a sex change <laughs> story, which is kind of interesting. Um, you know, it's and it also has a Wally Wood cover. So a lot of cool things going for this book. Um, this was a CGC 2.0 that uh, sold and it sold for $139.95. So somebody bid <laughs> that, that crazy little bid, you know, like uh, 95 cent bid. So uh, $139.95, really cool uh, bid on this one. Um, now this was a book that doesn't have a, private, a previous record or previous sales history. So it's hard to really know what it was, what it'd be worth in the, in the current, in the grade. But there was a 2.5 that sold in March of this year for $260. And there was a 4.5 that sold in February of last year for $228. So though this is a record, it's still probably a little bit undervalued. Now, generally what you do is you, you do the point value where you, you know, take the, the price that it sold for, divide it by the points, and then you uh, figure out what per point the book is worth. So I would have expected this book to be in that $200 range, but, um, you know, it sold for hundred and roughly $140. So really interesting one. Um, pretty good sale, actually, I think. Um, so as I was saying, there's a lot of affordable books from the Golden Age. And this one, there's... A, 102 of them on the census and 96 of them are universal blue labels. That's why EC comics are fairly affordable for the most part because there are so many on the census compared to other books from that era. Um, next one is number six uh, is Blue Bolt or Weird Tales of Terror <laughs> uh, 111. Now this is from Star Publications. It's a LB Cole cover. It's a classic werewolf cover. It also has skulls and devils on it. <laughs> it's got everything for the, the Golden Age, but it is a classic werewolf cover. It's just a really cool werewolf. Um, now, this was a, a raw 1.8 that sold, uh, and it sold for $408. Now, there's a couple things to know about this book. Um, it's got major chipping <laughs> on it, as well as the pages are slightly brittle. So it's got low page quality, very low page quality. Uh, there's no previous record within this grade, um, but um, a 2 had sold for $588 in um, July of 2023. So this one is kind of what you would expect it to sell for based on the fact that it is a raw copy, has brittle pages. You know, it's kind of within what you would expect for this book. But this is a great book to have because it's it's a, it's a classic L.B. Cole cover. Um, there are 75 of these on the census and 72 of them are universal blue labels. Number five on the list is The Dead Who Walk. This is from Realistic Comics 1952. It's a zombie plus good girl art cover. So you got these like parade of zombies coming in and you got this very creeped out girl <laughs> like in the red skirt uh seeing this parade of comics now a parade of zombies now this is a just a really cool one shot comic that came out from Real realistic comics and it's it's just a cool book uh it was a w raw 1.0 that sold and it sold for 100 uh, 408 dollars now there are no previous records in this grade but uh, there was a 2.0 that sold for $511 in uh, February, or sorry, March of 2022. 
So uh, generally, again, going back to the point system, you would expect uh, this book to sell for around $250 in, um, in a 1.0, uh, so roughly $250. I have a feeling that that 511 sale that was for the 2.0 back in last year uh, was a bit of a steal <laughs> because there was a higher record back set back in 2019 for 2.0 that sold for $800. Now using that under the point system, you would expect a 1.0 to sell for around $400. Well, this is within that $400 price. Um, the funny thing is a little bit of a, a reveal i actually when this sale happened i was bidding on it and i lost <laughs> i lost i was like okay i'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win this one but i bought it right after i actually went to my comic shop uh and uh, they had a copy and a 1-0 and they had it listed at 300 dollars, and i picked it up <laughs> so so um i got it for 100 dollars cheaper so a little bit of a confession there um there are 81 of these on the census and 78 of them are universal blue labels. Next one on the list, number four, is Teenage Temptations, number four. This is a St. John publication from 1953. It's a Matt Baker cover. Uh, and this one, it's really cool because it's flirtation on wheels. <laughs> so it's just a it's a, you know, great uh, cover where you got, you know, the typical good girl art cover. Uh, you know, the kind of girl flirting with a guy. Maybe, oh, maybe a little bit of something happening. So just a, just a cool cover. Uh, this was a CGC 3.5 that sold on Heritage for $324. Now there's a previous, the previous record for this book was actually a little bit higher. Um, it was sold uh, back in December of 2022 uh, for $384. So these books, these Matt Baker books, they can fluctuate. They can go come down as well. So this one came down a little bit, like I said, as I said, about 10% down. Um, but still a strong sale. It just kind of more or less confirms the previous sale. Uh, there are 14 of these on the census and 14 of them are universal blue labels. Next one, number three on the list, is Wartime Romances, number five. This is another St. John publication uh, from 1952. Another Matt Baker cover. <laughs> uh, this one's interesting because you got two girls and they're talking about picking up some soldiers that are <laughs> like walking in. So it's uh, The Soldier's Pickup is the, the title of this one. And um, this was a CGC 3.0 that sold and it sold for $540. Now there are again, no previous records, no previous sales for this grade, but uh, a 4.0 had sold back in August of 2023, so just last month, for $540. So this matches the, the previous 4.0 sale. So this is a very strong sale for a 3.0 because it kind of suggests that there is maybe a bit of price compression happening, but it's a strong, I would say it's a strong sale. I would have expected this book to have sold for maybe closer to $400. So it was a very strong sale. There are 19 of these on the census and 19 of them are universal blue labels. Number two on the list <laughs> is another Matt Baker. It is Cinderella Love number 15. And this is actually one of my, one of my favorite Matt Bakers actually. Uh, this is from St. John, uh, 1954. Uh, it's just a beautiful girl in the red dress. And uh, unlike many of the, the, the St. John's covers, um, Cinderella Love uh, really gives full full cover space to uh, the girl, to the, the you know, the, the art. Um, a lot of the St. John publications, they have these side panels that kind of cut into the, the main panel that's on the cover. And I, I, I don't really like that personally. Um, but this full cover from Cinderella, Cinderella Love is just really a beautiful cover. It's just, a, you know, and it's very zoomed in on the girl. So you can get to see her and all her splendor. And it's just a well-drawn dress, you know, just well-drawn woman. It's just very, the, you can tell Matt Baker spent a lot of time on the woman. The two 
guys in the background, not so much. <laughs> he really put his effort into that woman. Um, and it's just a beautiful cover. Uh, so this was a CGC 3.0 that sold, and it sold uh, so, uh, sold for um, $660. Now, there are, again, no previous records, no previous sales in this grade, but a 2.5 had sold back in um, May of this year for $504. So it's up over that. And a 3.5 had sold in July of 2020 for $528. So this is selling for higher than you would have expected. It would you would expect it maybe in that 550 range, but this is a 660. So it's a pretty strong sale. Um, but this is a one of the bigger Matt Baker covers from the Cinderella of Love uh, title. So you know in terms of what people are going after, and it just shows you that. Even at 660, it's a fairly affordable book. Um, you know, the years, some of the, the Cinderella Love 25 goes for thousands of dollars per point. <laughs> so this one, very much uh, an affordable and beautiful cover. So there are 19 of these on the census and 19 of them are universal blue labels. This was another heritage auction sale. The last one, which is another heritage auction sale, uh, Actually, sorry, is it Heritage Auction? No, eBay sale, I think. Sorry, eBay sale. Uh, this this last one is just, I had to include it. When I saw this sale, I was like, oh my goodness, I wish, well, I wish I could have gotten this, but it's one of those ones where uh, it's Submariner number, Submariner Comics number 11. This is just a classic, timely uh, 1943 cover. Uh, you got, it's an Alex Schomburg cover, it's you got this dragon, and you got uh, both Submariner and this woman coming out of the mouth of this dragon. He's like holding up the, the mouth of the dragon, fires coming from the nostrils of the dragon. It's just a really cool cover. And then you got this weird guy trying to stab <laughs> with a spear, the Submariner. It's just so much going on on this cover. Classic Alex Schomburg thing. This is probably one of my favorite uh, Alex Schomburg timely covers for Submariner. Uh, just a really great cover. Uh, and it was a CGC 0.5 that went for $2,650. Now, this is one where it's a 0.5, so it's missing two pages. It was missing pages 16 and 17. Um, this is actually a quite a big sale because um, it was one of those ones where it had a best offer. I think the original price was like almost close to $4,000 and somebody put a best offer in of $2,650. Um, so, and they accepted that offer, I guess. Uh, so <laughs> just a really strong sale for this book because the previous record for this book in uh, that actually was slightly better uh copy uh even though it's a 0.5 uh it was only missing one the missing the centerfold um sold for 750 dollars back in june of 2020 so this is like three times <laughs> what it had sold for in the past uh just a really strong sale for this book um and just a cool book i mean it's one of the most desired um, timely covers uh, by Schomburg. Uh, just really, really cool uh, Alex Schomburg cover. Uh, there are 61 of these on the census and 47 of them are universal blue labels. So that's it. These are the, <laughs> these are the top 10. I tried to, you know, give you some options in terms of cool books that you could pick up, like some superhero or horror or good girl stuff that are affordable and um that even though they're they're affordable they're still setting records so um just some cool books i you know always try to encourage people to enjoy the golden age i hope you love the golden age as much as i do and thanks for watching and if you like this video please give it a like and remember to subscribe to the video uh, channel and that's all for now bye for now